Hi there, welcome to our demo session on GG Active Directory Reports. In this demo session, I will show how GG Active Directory Reports supports administrators using a short story. It was a cold Saturday night, and since it was getting late, you can see the lights going off in many buildings. But, our administrator was present in the office. Let's have a closer look at him. He was in the process of generating Active Directory user analysis reports for his client. At the same time, he felt sad for his family since he had disappointed them on weekend outing. On the other hand, he was frustrated with the queries which cost his time and made him struggle to generate the reports. So, it's time to support our administrator by explaining about GG Active Directory reports. How GG Active Directory report supports administrators. Report generation, which comprises of generating over 450 Active Directory reports. Additional features includes exporting and printing the reports. Supported actions on Active Directory users are enable. Disable, Delete, Restore, Reset, Unlock, and Move. Custom Report. Advanced Settings. Scheduling Reports. Bulk Report Generation. Licensing and Registration. OK let's start. After installation and proper licensing, I just press here to start the application. Now you can see the GG Active Directory Report View. First, let us see how to generate Active Directory reports. Using this tool, you can extract over 450 critical reports from Active Directory. Our recently added report categories include User Account Status Contact Container Service Connection Point Schema Printer Trust Relationship Terminal Services here, I select user account status, in which I select the enabled users report. As a result, you can see the user information in the generated report. Now, let us see about the additional features for customizing the report. You can export the report in four different file formats, which are CSV, Excel, PDF, and HTML. Here. I export this report as a PDF file. Now you can see the exported report. Using add or remove columns, you can add specific available columns to the displayed columns. So that, these added columns provide additional information to your report. To send the generated report to specific email ID, select this option, then press add to enter your custom email address. Here. I provide my manager's email ID. Then select your custom report option, I select this option. Finally press finish to send this report. To verify this process, now I go to the Outlook web app of Exchange Server 2010, and log in as manager. Now you can clearly see the report sent from GG Active Directory report. Using this option, you can schedule the reports, but we can see this in the later part of this video. Now, let us have an eye on the actions supported in GG Active Directory report. Using Action button, you can perform Enable, Disable, Delete, Restore, Reset, Unlock and Move Users. Now, I am selecting few custom users and disabling them by using this option. To see the disabled users, Select this report, here you can clearly notice that, the enabled state of the selected users, are changed to false. Similarly you can generate and, customize all other Active Directory reports. Now, let us see, how to generate custom Active Directory reports. To configure the custom report, spot other reports, and select custom report. This report helps you in providing your 
own LDAP queries and generate your custom Active Directory reports. Here, I provide a simple query to generate a list of users and press Generate. Now you can see the user information. You can also add this query to create a custom query list for future use. Now, let us see the advanced settings available in GG Active Directory report. Press this option to configure the advanced settings. Here, at first we have domain controller settings. Using this option, you can select your custom domain controller and you can set it as default. You can ignore the unused domain controllers from reporting by moving them to domain controllers not be used list. To test the connectivity with a specific domain controller, use this option. Using thread setting, you can assign multiple threads from 1 to 100 for printing and exporting reports. Thereby, you can print or export reports in seconds. Using this tab, you can exclude specific organization units from reporting by adding them to this list. Here, I add my custom organization unit to this list. Finally save the changes. Now let us see the complete details on scheduling reports. Using this option, you can create new schedules for generating and customizing reports. Using this option, you can verify and manage the existing schedules. First, I press this option. As a result, a new schedule creation page appears. Here I provide the essential entries, select the scope and report file type. Now I am selecting the reports to be scheduled by moving them to this section. Here, I modify the task to be scheduled weekly and leave the remaining settings as default. At last, you have the options for customizing the scheduled reports. You can send the reports to specific email ID store the reports in custom location and also send email notification. Here, I select this option and provide the email ID. Finally press finish. To verify and manage the existing schedules, press this option. Here you can see the existing schedules in this list. Using this option, you can run selected schedules using specific user credentials. This option helps you to edit mail server settings. Now, let us have a glance on bulk report generation. Using this option, you can bulk generate the Active Directory reports rather than single report. Now, press this option to configure bulk report generation. Select the scope and report file type. Select your required reports and move each of them to this list. Finally customize the bulk reports by either sending it to specific email ID or storing in a specific location. Here, I store them in a specific location and press finish. As a result, you can see the summary details of bulk report generation. Licensing and registration enables the proper usage of GG Active Directory report. Single administrator license supports one administrator at a single location within your organization. Site license allows unlimited number of people at a single location within your organization. Enterprise license enables unlimited number of people across your entire organization. Consultant license is designed specifically for consultants who carry out work on behalf of their customers. Here, I register GG Active Directory report using single administrator license. For that, I go to help menu and select license details. Then I browse and select the corresponding license file and press register. Thus GG Active Directory reports solve the setbacks of queries. So our administrator felt happy and started using GG Active Directory reports. We feel happy in providing you the demo on 
GG Active Directory reports. For queries feel free to contact us at support at ggtechnologies.com. Looking forward to serve you better. Thank you.